Hello and welcome to Future Value. My name is Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. The Future Value function is like a crystal ball. It shows you how your money grows in the future. Stick around till exercise three, where I'll show you how to reach a million bucks. No magic, just math. Exercise one. So the question is, if I invest $100 a month and earn a 5% annual interest rate for one year, how much is that worth at the end of this period? To get that answer, we can use the future value function. It looks like this, equals FV. Now, you'll notice there are three required arguments, rate, N per, which is number of periods, and payment. Now, the trick to working with this function is to ensure that all of these arguments reflect the same time period. For this exercise, we're gonna do monthly. So we need to make sure that all three of these arguments are monthly. Let's start with the interest rate. It's this but this is an annual interest rate, so we can convert it to monthly by dividing by 12. Comma, N per, number of periods, how many months? Well, it's the number of years times 12. Comma, and the payment, this also has to be a monthly payment, which it is, so we just click this. Close function and enter. And this future value amount of $1,227 is expressed as a negative number. And that's just because if we put in $100 a month, we're gonna get out 1227. In other words, it operates on a cash flow basis. Cash in, cash out. We could always flip the sign if we wanted to. Now, just to kind of double check that this is reasonable, let's change this interest rate to zero. And sure enough, this is about what we would expect. If we invested $100 a month for 12 months, at the end, we should have about $1,200. And if we can earn a rate of return on this, like 5%, we would expect it to be more, and this is more. So this looks like it's reasonable. And now that we've set up this calculator, feel free to play with these input values. Let's go to the next exercise, exercise two. In this exercise, we're gonna talk about one of the optional arguments, which is the present value argument. This lets us set up a starting balance. For now, we'll assume we start with zero. Equals FV, future value. Okay, once again, we're doing everything in months. So it's gonna be the annual interest rate divided by 12. It's gonna be the number of years times 12, and it's gonna be the monthly payment. And then comma, and then we have this optional present value argument. This means how much are we starting with today? For now, we'll assume it's zero. Let's close function and enter. All right, we get the same value that we got before, perfect. But let's say we start with $1,000. Now this thousand is actually earning interest during the entire period. So our future value is now 22.79. And let's change this rate to zero just for a moment, just to kind of double check our math. If we added $100 a month for 12 months, we'd expect there to be about $1,200 and we started with a thousand. So this future value amount of 2,200 seems very reasonable. Now we can play with the interest rate. We'll change that back to five. And now that this formula is complete, you can change all of these input values as desired. So what would it take to get to a million dollars? Let's go to the next exercise. In addition to these short videos, I also offer formal training. It's built for users at all skill levels. Learn more by using the link in the description. You'll be getting your work done faster than ever. Exercise three. Since this is gonna be over a longer time horizon, I added a starting age cell. So let's calculate the future value equals FV. Okay, the rate is our annual rate divided by 12. The number of periods is the number of years times 12. The payment argument is the monthly investment amount, which is this, comma. The present value is how much we're starting with, which is this. Close function and enter. Now let's calculate the age we'd be at the end of this. It's gonna be equal to our starting age plus the number of years, enter. So what this is saying is if we start at 20 years old and we put in $300 a month and we could assume an annual interest rate of 8%, and by the way, I think this 8% assumption is less than the average S&P over the last 40 years, but in any event, you can play with that assumption as desired. And if we invested this for 40 years and started with nothing, we'd have a million dollars at age 60. And for any 20 year olds watching this video, this should be very inspirational. This is totally doable. And you wanna know what's wild. Let's change this interest rate to zero. So what this is telling us is that we've invested $144,000, but due to the time value money and the magic of compounding interest, that turns into over a million dollars. Now let's change some assumptions. What if I don't have 40 years? Fine, let's change this. Let's go with 30 years. What if I have some starting balance? Maybe I have $10,000. 
And maybe I want to bring this annual interest rate closer in line to what the average S&P is. Maybe we'll use something like 10%. So if we start at 20 and we do this for 30 years, we'll be 50 and we'll have 876,000. If we wanted to get it to the million, let's play with this monthly investment amount. What if we did 325 instead? Getting closer. What if we did 350 instead? We're just about there. What if we did 375? And there we are. And you get the idea. Once these formulas are locked in, you can play with these input values as desired. As you can see, using this future value function is like having a crystal ball, and it lets you see the impact of a variety of different investment assumptions. Hopefully this has been helpful. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day. Hey, Excel user. If you ever need to create summary reports, check out my pivot table for beginners video. It starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table, and then how to summarize those transactions with a pivot table report. I hope it helps unlock the incredible power of pivot tables. This video is a production of Excel University.